Hello everyone, welcome back again to Debs' Delight. I hope we are all doing fantastic. We've recently been monetized and I just want to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to you all for your continued support. Today on Debs' Delight, we are making something very simple yet a great addition to your meals and this is chicken broth. This chicken broth is a substitute for water and the good thing is it comes with a whole lot of flavor. So from now onwards, if you watch this video and you like this recipe, don't cook with water anymore because this broth will bring loads of flavor and aroma to your dishes where water is required. So no time to waste, let's check out the ingredients and begin. Over here I've got the ingredients beautifully lined up. This is some celery sticks, some sage, just this much will go a long way. I've also got three large carrots, nicely washed. Please note that all the ingredients have been nicely washed and cleaned, okay? I've also got some leeks here, two medium-sized yellow onions, some ginger, garlic, of course, some chicken. I've also got some mixed black, white and pink peppercorns. Some salt, I'm using some Himalayan salt because it's very flavorful. I've also got some cumin seeds, some fennel seeds, which is flavor packed some bay leaves and over here is my plant hub which i'll grab the ones i'm going to use and plug it directly from its root so i'm just going to cut about three sprigs of rosemary Let me add one <laughs> here. Some sprig of thyme, some fresh coriander, and some fresh parsley. This gives me so much joy. <laughs> To know it's directly from the roots, you know, I know exactly where it's from. Let's put this back. And let's wash the ones we just plug, okay? <laughs> you need to make sure you wash all the ingredients thoroughly, especially the ones that come together like the celery which I'll separate and wash in between them because there are deaths in there which you want to get rid of. So just as I'm demonstrating now, separate it and wash in between and make sure it's clean before you use them. Same applies to the leeks, make sure to separate them and wash it thoroughly because there are this in there so you need to make sure to separate them. I was feeling a bit lazy at this point so I separated the top part mostly because that's where I found the dirt are but if you aren't lazy at the point you're making it, make sure to separate it all and wash it thoroughly as well. You need a very big pot for this because it's a broth, you need to give it enough room to cook without spilling. So the first thing that will go in will be our chicken. <laughs> so this recipe was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers and chef Namnabe's kitchen. I admire this lady so much. She's good at what she does and she's very, very passionate about it. I did try her recipe as well and I loved it and if you haven't seen her channel please i will link it in the description box please pop there and check out all her amazing recipes the amazing thing about this recipe is that it's very simple because once you are done washing all your ingredients all you need to do is to chop them up into large chunks and transfer it all into your large pot as I'm doing now 
the onions I washed thoroughly as well but I'm not going to peel it because if you peel it it will fall apart in the broth and you don't want that so make sure to clean it thoroughly before you use it same applies to the garlic which I did not peel at all but I've washed it very very well to ensure I don't introduce any dirt at all into my broth as well as my ginger which I'm going to chop and transfer it into the pot as well with a twirl I'll tie all my herbs together to make it very easy to fish out once the broth is done. This is totally optional but when you do it this way it's a life saver. You don't have to be looking for it once the broth is done and tying it will make this very very easy. And in it goes into the pot. Again, I'm going to tie all my spices together using a cheesecloth. So this is my cumin seeds, my mixed black, white and pink peppercorns, my fennel seeds and I'll tie it with a twirl to make sure it's easier to fish out once the broth is done in the end. Trust me, this is a life saver because when you're done, you need to strain it and doing it this way helps you fish out all the ingredients before you strain it because if you leave it in there when you're straining it you have to do a lot more work by picking it out but this makes it very very easy so if you can please tie them all together i'll also add my bay leaves and some salt to taste the salt you have to season it to your preferred taste okay I'll then transfer this to my cooker and add a lot of water. It's broth which means you need a lot of liquid in there because at the end of the day you need all the liquid to cook your meal so make sure to add enough water. I in my case will fill it up to the 9 litre mark. Depending on the quantity you're making you can use a smaller pot but make sure it's wide enough for the quantity so it doesn't spill once it starts boiling so I'm adding more water and I'll set this on fire on very high heat once it comes to a boil I'll give it a little jiggle to try and submerge all the ingredients that's floating on top of it it will pop up again <laughs> but I try to help it by using my spatula to submerge it I'll turn the heat down to very low heat between medium low and low heat and allow it to simmer through until the water reduces in size and I know it's ready. As you can see, we started when it was almost at the brim of the pot, but now it's reduced in size, which is an indication that our broth is almost ready. I'll just check for the thickness, but I'll allow it to simmer through just a little bit more and come back and it's ready. <laughs> I'll take it off the fire and allow it to cool up just slightly as you don't want to cool off totally before taking out the vegetables and sieving it. Now it's cooled off just slightly so I'll take out the chicken and the rest of the vegetables and just look at that chicken. It's really tender. The good thing is I am not going to throw any of this away. The chicken I'll shred it and use it for another recipe and the vegetables I am going to blend it later which will serve as a thickener for my soups, my stews, even for my pasta. This combination right here, once blended together, is everything. It tastes so, so, so good. So make sure not to throw it away. I will squeeze out the garlic from the skin to ensure I do not blend the skin as part of my paste. <laughs> And do you see those herbs all intact, easy to take out and the spices as well. I hope you now understand. <laughs> and I'm going to blend this for later use. Once it's all done, I'm going to sieve it. I've got the sieve with the smaller holes in it in the larger one. As you can see on the screen, you want to sieve it 
and prevent any um, of the large chunks going into your stock. I'll then pour it out while it's still hot into my containers, let it cool down completely and set it in the fridge and allow the fat on top of it to solidify so that it will be easier to scoop off. So it's all cooled off completely, I've taken it out of the fridge now, I'm going to skim off any excess fat in there as you do not want to incorporate that into your stock, take all the unhealthy parts away, okay? <laughs> Once that is done, I'll serve it into my airtight containers and store it in the freezer which can last up to 6 months. Thank you for watching! That is it! So now that you have the recipe for your own chicken broth, please don't cook with water, especially during special occasions. <laughs> I'm not saying not at all before you swallow me when you realize I'm cooking with water on my channel. <laughs> but this, as I said before, is a really good addition. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. If you did like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section as it keeps me going and it makes me very, very happy. <laughs> Bye for now. I love you all, but God loves you the most. <laughs>